Perspective will always begin with a horizon line. Your horizon line is always at your eye level. If you are standing above the object that you are drawing, then draw your horizon line above that object. If you are below the object, then your horizon line will be below the object. In this case, theoretically, I'm staring at a hallway and I'm sitting in a chair. So my horizon line cuts across that hallway a little bit lower than center. I'm also sitting closer to the right hand side of the wall. So my vanishing point will be a little bit closer to the right wall at the end of the hall. You can imagine that your vanishing point is a dot that's right between your eyes along the horizon line. The lines that represent where the wall meets the ceiling and where the wall meets the floor will be drawn as diagonal lines that all converge at the vanishing point. Consider that the top of any doorway is parallel to both the floor and to the ceiling. Therefore, it must also meet at the vanishing point. You can use the end of the hallway as a reference to transfer measurements from the right hand side of the hall all the way to the left hand side of the hall. One easy trick is to imagine that there are only three kinds of lines when drawing one point perspective. Horizontal lines, vertical lines, and diagonal lines. And every diagonal line will radiate out of the vanishing point. Use these rules to build any space you want, whether it be imaginary or whether you are looking at the exterior or the interior of any actual building.